on the soccer team. Uh, yeah, no. That was the ugly Matt. Matt Kramer was hot. Totally hot. Sorry, did you say Matt Kramer? Did something happen? Oh, my God. You haven't heard? Heard what? His mom found him dead last night. I heard she found him hanging. He's so sad. Matt Kramer, wasn't that that friend of yours? We haven't hung out in a long time. You should get to class, Bobby. Are you KJ? I'm fine, Bobby. Go to class. Social king. You got places to go and people to see. Hey, at least one of us will get into a good college. Hmm. Good college doesn't mean a fun college. Sorry. No time for fun these days. Oh, tell me about it. It's like I can never see you unless I'm at the library. Where did I go wrong with you? You need a date. I don't think there are any dates left. You took them all. Only taken one lately. She's plenty. If you're gonna make fun of Missy, at least do it behind my back like a normal guy. Why don't you come out with us this weekend? You, me, and Missy? <laughs> She'll love that. Actually, I was talking about you and Stacy. Missy says she's into you. I could hook it up. Mm. That Kool Aid must have tasted good. Come on, man. Stacy's hot. And she reads magazines. Not interested. We can go out tomorrow night, the four of us. I wish we had an instant replay so that you could hear me say no twice. What if we race for it? I'll kick your ass. You keep thinking that. When I win, you're going on that date. was right next to mine. I just feel so bad because there was this one time where it said hi to me and I just totally blew him off. I bet she had a meltdown when Mary Kate went into rehab. I mean, I didn't know he was suicidal. I think it's safe to say the incidents are unrelated, Jamie. Who else wants to share? Who can tell us something about Matthew? Who he was? Who in the world could live without cheese fries? <laughs> uh, I definitely couldn't. <laughs> oh my god, don't look. I think Lisa Miller got a good job. No way. I'm telling you, they're bigger. Maybe hey, she'll need dates now. Yes. <laughs> Bathroom? We can totally pass by our table. I told you this would be fun. Yeah, you lied. Stacy is definitely into you, man. <laughs> They're ridiculous. They're just being chicks. I didn't want to come here. That's pretty clear. So why did you? You beat me, remember? <laughs> and we haven't hung out in a while, so I wanted to hang. With you, not Sweet Valley High. Hey, I was trying to hook you up. Is that such a bad thing? I'll just forget it, okay? Well, seriously, man, you haven't been yourself in months. How would you even know what I've been? I've barely seen you since you started dating with Fembot. Oh, all right, back off. How can you not see how shallow she is, Jack? All she cares about is her lipstick color. She's my girlfriend, so just cool it. Yeah, she's your girlfriend. Until someone better comes along. I heard she's been hanging out with Randy Bongard after football practice. Did you know that? That's enough. She doesn't appreciate you, and you don't care because she puts out. I said shut up. Hey, they are so fake. <laughs> Seriously. Plastic. <laughs> Do you have anything to add? Jack, did you want to say something about Matthew? Oh, um, no. No, I have nothing to say. Happy Thanksgiving. Hey. Hey. Uh, what are you doing here? I felt like the whole town was at your house. You've got a reason as any not to be there. <laughs> <laughs> well, I, I cooked enough if you want to stay. Uh, that's okay. Uh, I'm on my way to the store to pick up some stuff anyway. You missed the grief session. Yeah. Didn't really see it being helpful. Thought maybe you were upset or something. Oh, um, I appreciate the concern, but it's not like every suicide reminds me of my mother. I mean, I'm always thinking about her anyway, and I, I didn't even know Matt, so. Good. Well, I mean, 
Good that you're okay. Jack, I live with a father who doesn't talk and a sister who never says what she means, so I'm kind of an expert in non-communication, and I'm sensing that you didn't come here just to check up on me. I was wondering. I mean, if somebody knew something about your mother that you didn't know, would you want to tell you? Yeah, definitely. You don't even have to think about that. No, it's an easy question. What if it was something bad? I mean, not bad, but something that you might think is bad. It doesn't matter. I miss out on another 30 years of knowing my mother, and anything about her, even something stupid or bad, would help make up for that. And besides, I'd never stop loving her, no matter what. Second you turn 18, don't walk, run. Last night. Yeah, you can say that. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm just going through some stuff. Well, maybe if you told me what it was, you wouldn't have to be such a jerk. It's complicated. Oh. So without a 4.0, I might not be able to get it, huh? That's not what I meant. Why are you emptying your locker? I quit the team. What? Why? Oh, is that complicated, too? You asked me you spend enough time alone already. That's probably why I don't have any social skills. Left. No, that's not it. Well, what the hell is it then? I can't be around people right now. No, I can't be around you right now. Why not? What? I'm a dick when I'm around you. I become a dick when I am around you. Gee, thanks. It's not your fault. I can't explain it. I just... Something's happening to me, Jack, and I don't understand it. I can't stop it. And being around you and Missy just makes it worse. What, are you, like, jealous of me or something? No, not of you, of her. Her. I... I think... I think that I'm in love with you. Oh, man, um... I'm sorry. I mean, I'm not... No, I, I know. I like girls. I know. I, I tried to stay away from you, okay? But it, because it was easier than hearing that you didn't feel the same way, I thought that if I didn't tell you, that I could just hope that maybe you... Oh... Have you tried talking to your parents about any of this stuff? No, right. As it is, I'm not near perfect enough for them. My dad will go ballistic. Well, there are counselors and things you can talk to about this. I'm not going to talk to anyone else about it. What's the big deal? It's 2003. It's not in Missouri, it isn't. It's not that big a thing. My uncle's gay. So is Marcus's cousin. No one cares anymore. They can't help me! No one can. I'm sorry I even told you. Okay. Sorry. I really think you should try and talk to your parents. I don't really think you don't know what the hell you're talking about. Hey, Callister, come on. Coach is waiting for you. <laughs> 